Hey, look, if you didn't get a 20 or better on your ACT, you're not going to get any of these fucking jokes, and I'm going to be really fucking pissed off. Hey, uh, this is my first time playing at the, uh, where the fuck am I again? The back room? If the back room ever gets big, then they'll have a dressing room for comics like myself or better, and I don't know what the fuck they'll call it. I was in the underground back back room of the back room. I don't know what the fuck they'll call that, so they might have shot us up a little later there. Um, they do got lots of food here. They got pizza. How's the pizza, man? You don't want to eat pizza, so I'm staring right at you. <laughs> there are only eight people here. Come on, you're goddamn mighty. I got time, but we'll get it. There's a couple over here. I, they're married. I don't think they're married to each other, but they're here. <laughs> so, anyway, the pizza's good, right? Listen, this is my public service announcement, or, you know, it's just, I'm helpful. I want to help y'all out. Um, do not eat really spicy shit on your pizza, like jalapeno. In my dream, I was fucking a cow in a cow field, and like, I was fucking this cow, but it's one of them realistic dreams too, y'all. Like, I wasn't just fucking her, I was in the wheelbarrow. Like, it was legit. Because if you fuck a cow in a wheelbarrow, you gotta have that as a tool of the trade, because when she's done, you can get to the next fucking cow. <laughs> they have orgasms much faster than you women at 20 minutes. You can fuck a cow for like two minutes, she's done. I hear you. Anyways, I woke up in this dream and my comedic mind kicked in and said, hey, you know what, if, if you get a fucking cow, do they have a clitoris? And I'm not a biology student or major, so I called up my buddy who's a vegetarian. Um, no, no, veterinarian, I get him fucked up. A vegetarian is a guy that only eats retarded girls with giant. Anyways, this veterinarian friend of mine, he said, uh, I don't know if they have a good course. And I said, well, what fucking good are you? Because if I went to veterinarian school, that'd be my first question day one. Today, class, we're going to study water buffalo. <laughs> Do they have a good course? I don't know, Mr. Holmes. Our right, next day, we're going to study a rain pants. Do they have a good course? Mr. Holmes, I don't know. By the third day, we're going to study giraffes. Mr. Holmes, let's assume that the only thing in the known world that has a book for us is homo erectus. And I would say, motherfucker, give me your credentials again because I ain't never met a homo that got erectus over the Taurus. If I had a magnum P.I. mustache, that's homo erectus. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't trust him after that, giving me the I don't know answer, so I looked it up and I Googled it and I said, Dear Mr. Google, because, you know, I haven't learned shorthand from the internet, does a cow have a clitoris? And it said, maybe. <laughs> Fucking internet doesn't know shit. So anyways, I did a lot of research and I could not find proof that any other mammal claims to have a clitoris other than that girl, that lady, that woman, that woman, and this lady over here, and maybe the bartender. I don't know. But that's what makes me think it might be one of them fictitious creatures, you know, like a unicorn.
ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು 